guys, Bobby Hughes here with Heritage Pride Custom Firearms uh, on the Heritage Pride Backyard Homestead. And uh, just going to bring a little video today. We're working on the uh, chicken run. And uh, it's starting to get a little bit colder. Um, today it's supposed to be pretty nice. We've had a lot of rain all week this week. We've had a lot of rain, so everything's real soppy and wet and marshy. And uh, it's, it's just a... Uh, you know, an un, unnormal amount of rain. But anyway, what was happening was my chicken run here. Uh, if you've ever had chickens or you're thinking about chickens, be sure and put them in a place where, uh, if you're going to keep them in one location, be sure you put them in a place where you don't care if the if the grass dies, um, because the grass will be gone in 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 just a few days uh, once you introduce your chickens. But uh, what was happening with all the rain and just the uh, it just got muddy and you know all the all the poop and everything it just um, it just made it really really muddy and it wasn't just muddy but it was like soupy muddy and it was really nasty and um, it, you know just unhealthy for the chickens and uh, you know it would stink and, and stuff like that so um, mainly the reason for making the upgrades uh, is, is, is a couple reasons. One, to keep the chickens happy and to keep them preoccupied because they'll get bored if they don't have something to scratch around in and do. And out in the muddy run, the only time they'd come out there is just to eat and it wasn't enjoyable for them. And uh, so anyway, uh, it was just gross. So what, what I did was I went and I, I've been reading up a lot on, on my chickens and stuff like that. but. Basically, what I'm going to do to the run today is, is uh, I went through and uh, I put down some straw, and also put down some alfalfa hay. Um, it, hay's hard to come by right now uh, around here, um, so I ended up having to buy some at Tractor Supply. And the stuff that, that they have is compressed bales, so you actually get two bales in one. And uh, it, it's pretty good stuff. I've used it before for landscaping uh, when I'm sowing grass in the winter. Uh, it's real fine. The hay is, or the, the straw, I should say, is real fine. And uh, it spreads really nice. So what I did was I, I took, and I apologize for the wind, it's a little breezy today. I took some straw and laid it out over all that muddiness and just kind of made me a path as I went in to try to keep from getting so muddy. And then back in the back, I took my shovel and just, uh, once I had the straw down, I took my shovel and dug some, flipped some dirt around and and that gives them something to do. Um, your Wherever your run is, that's going to be really rich uh, composted uh, soil. And so a lot of times you'll have worms and stuff like that in there. The chickens like to scratch around in that and get, get you know, a fresh treat. So uh, I threw some straw down and then I uh, uh, turned the dirt over a little bit back in the back, about the last six feet, turned it over so it gives them something to scratch around in. And then I threw some alfalfa hay down on it too. And that alfalfa hay has seedlings and stuff like that in it from where they cut it. And they'll go around and pick that out and scratch around in it. You can see them back here scratching around. And that is way more enjoyable than them being out there in that just muddy muck. So uh, it gives them something to do, keeps them preoccupied, and all that good stuff. Um, some of the other upgrades we're going to be doing today is I'm, I've got some uh, scrap lumber uh, and some leftover metal from the roof. And I'm actually going to make a little section of this. I'm going to cover it with metal. And uh, I don't know if it'll quite be half of the run, but a portion of the run will be covered. And that will help with the rain run or with the rainwater. Uh, and it'll keep it from being so soupy inside of the entrance here and right in front of the coop. And um, th that will also, this winter, uh, when it's snowing, it'll keep the snow off of this section. And then that way, because this is where they're going to feed when they come out of the coop, it'll encourage them to come out of the coop and eat and things like that, which they wouldn't normally do if there was snow on the ground. They're not, they don't like the cold and the snow, so normally they just stay in the coop the whole time. So um, that'll encourage them to come out and scratch around a little bit, and it'll keep the snow off of there, keep the rain out so it'll stay drier in that area. And then this summer, it'll help give them some shade uh, to cool off. So uh, we're going to be working on the roof. Um, working on the, the ground level, which we already did. I'm going to uh, might put a couple, take a couple scrap 2x4s and put a couple of perches uh, in the run so they've got something to fly up on. 
And if you're going to put perches in your run, be sure you put a cover over the top of it if you don't want them getting out. We have Americanas and they're real bad about flying the coop. And um, so we found that out real quick. I thought with this fence being this high and there's not a lot of room for them to kind of get a run and start, I didn't think they'd be able to fly over. But uh, the first couple of days they did. So we ended up putting just a chicken mesh, chicken wire mesh over the top and uh, kind of closing them in. So we're going to put some perches in. I'm not worried about them getting up on it and flying out because we're covered on top. So um, we're going to put a couple of those in for them. And then we're going to build a uh, feeder system for them so that uh, when we come out to feed them, we don't have to actually go inside the run where all the poop and everything is. We can just uh, feed them from outside and it'll go inside. So we're going to build one of those. Um, so anyway, we've got a lot of work to do today just on the run. Uh, if daylight permits, we might start working on the coop as well. That'll be in another video. We're going to make some upgrades to the coop. Uh, and basically what's happened is my egg production has just fallen off completely. Uh, they've been dormant now for, um, for about eight weeks. And uh, from everything that I've read, I'm no chicken expert, but from everything I've read, it's because they're not happy. Um, there's several things that they need to make them happy, light and, and warmth and, and things like that. So uh, there's a few upgrades we're going to make to the actual coop and try to, uh, try to make them happy or give them something to do, make them proactive during the day so that at night they will lay some eggs for us. Because uh, what's the point in spending the money on feed to feed them uh, if they're not producing eggs? So um, we're going we're gonna to try to get them back going again and uh, make some changes. So uh, first thing I'm working on right now, I've already got the ground level done. So we're going to start working on the roof and I'm going to start cutting some boards and, and putting that together. Alright guys, so uh, phase one of making the chickens happy is completed. Um, we've got our bedding down out in the run. They've been out here scratching around like crazy. They're loving it, so that's a plus. We got our hard cover built for the top. Uh, it's about six feet. It covers about six feet of the pen right here in front of the coop where they come out, so that'll be good. And um, then I, I left a little overhang out the front to keep it from getting muddy uh, underneath the gate here. 
Um, the next thing, oh, and we've got a, a little perch put in back there in the back corner. I just had a leftover scrap two by six, and uh, we put that in back there in the back corner. So that'll let them perch up on that. Um, so they've been out here scratching around, they're loving it, and I've got them some uh, right now. Uh, in this thing, I'm gonna throw just throw this right on the ground so they can scratch more of it. It's um, cracked corn and oyster shell. Um, the oyster shell is a good uh, a good supplement for them, and then the cracked corn was something that the the previous owners uh, of the chickens said that cracked corn was one of their favorite treats. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this over the pen, and that'll give them something to scratch around and and find as well. Um, and then our next step on the uh, modif our modifications of the run is going to be to build a feeder, si an automatic feeder system. Um, so we're going to start on that in just a minute. Alright guys, so we just got done constructing the uh, automatic feeder. I had watched some videos on YouTube and uh, also uh, read in a book uh, and it gave this idea for a feeder. And I just used 4 inch PVC pipe and uh, I put a section down at the bottom. I drilled some holes out with a hole saw and uh, then in my mind everyone that I looked at used 90 degree angles. Um, like a, uh, a, a a 90 so it would go down and then take a sharp right turn and cut out and my idea with that just using some logic was um, nothing likes to travel at a 90 degree angle uh, except for water and um, you know the uh, solid waste when you when you do plumbing has um, you try to use 45s as opposed to 90s to keep it from um, from stopping up on you make it flow easier so in my mind I'm thinking that a 45 would work better so I took two 45s to make a 90 but I stretched it out so that it would have more fall uh, more pressure when it fell so I'm gonna go put some feet in now and see what it does we'll see the only thing I'm worried about is maybe it overflowing out of the thing there but I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and, and put some feet in it and see how it does uh -uh, get out of that Alright guys, so I think that pretty much does it for this video uh, for our chicken run upgrades. Uh, we got a lot done in this video and I'm happy with the results of everything. Uh, we've got uh, got the ground uh, laid down for them so they've got something to scratch around in. We've got the, uh, the hard cover up. we got our automatic chicken feeder in which is looking like it's going to work good. They've already been over there pecking in it. And we got us a perch built. Um, and then another thing with the feeder, I wanted to make sure that I had the feeder tucked up underneath the hardcover roof to try to eliminate as much water getting into it as possible during the rain and stuff. Um, so now I think the chickens are going to be pretty happy. They're moving around the camera on me over there scratching around under the tripod. But uh, hopefully this will help in the run and uh, keep them happy and, and give them something to do, keep them from getting bored and it'll make it easier on us um, because we won't have to come inside the coop to feed them and we don't have to feed them every day. Um, this thing held uh, probably 25 pounds of pellet feed. Uh, so uh, I'm happy. I can't, can't say that I'm unhappy. Uh, they're going to town on it right now. So Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to stay tuned for the chicken coop upgrade videos. We're going to be doing some upgrades in it. Might try to do those today if I've got enough battery. If not, we we'll might just do a uh, overview video once it's done. Um, so anyway guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.